You're listening to The Crypt on WRFM and joining me today is Ronan from the De Laurentiis. Ronan, thanks so much for your time. Oh, pleasure. Thanks for having me, Rita. Well, there's been lots and lots of news from you, the band lately and I suppose one of the biggest bits of news is that on Sunday, the 28th of July, you guys are supporting the boss himself, Bruce Springsteen, on his Wrecking Ball weekend in Nolan Park in Kilkenny. How do you feel as a band to get such an amazing opportunity to share the stage with a legend like this? Oh, well, we're incredibly excited. Um, I've been a huge, huge fan since I was a tot. You know, I've been uh, sing, sing, singing along to Bruce, in, you know, in, yeah. in the car, in the car on the way to, you know, uh, holidays all around Ireland, you yeah. know. I spent, about, spent many years um, singing along to him and that's continued, you know, he's yeah. still as, in terms of, uh, just as a performer, such an incredible performer and, you know, still sets the standard for everybody else, in my opinion. Oh, so that's it. And he uh, does a great long set as well at his gigs. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> you, you get your money's good. worth. <laughs> certainly do. Yeah. So uh, I think it's going like, it's, it's going to be an amazing weekend and it's, it's, yeah, it's an honor and a privilege to be, to, to be involved, you know. Oh, fantastic. And then when you released Little Sparks in 2012, you had a very inventive release campaign. Could you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, I suppose, you know, made the making of Little Sparks was a kind of a, I suppose, a watershed for us in terms of, you know, we, we wanted everything to be really creative, that, that it would that creativity would be the kind of the, the hallmark of what we do. And so when having had that experience in making the music, we wanted to kind of continue that on in, in other aspects of the band. Yeah. So we thought for, you know, for, for the release to, to do some different things. So we released a magazine in the lead up to the to the, al- to the album to kind of shed a light on on creativity in Ireland, other people working in different creative, um, uh, I guess, streams or in, in Ireland who we've met over the years. So there was kind of artists and poets and filmmakers and things all contributed to to the magazine, which was great. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, for the for the actual release, the album itself, um, you yeah, know, we set up our own pop up shops in. Uh, towns around the country just you know one day in each town kind yeah. of thing uh again just to sorry I, I suppose with so many record shops closing down there wasn't you know there aren't the, the kind of record stores to do your kind of in stores and meet fans the way y- you even could kind of well, that's it it's all it's, itunes it's, now isn't it yeah so it was great like we, we went down we kind of we brought all our instruments and so not only obviously we were we were selling the record we, we did kind of a few live sets throughout the day and oh, families where we'd come in and we'd all the instruments there so you'd all the kids mess yeah. around with instruments and things it was a great laugh it was brilliant and it's a great way for people to get to know you as people yeah. as well rather than just yeah. you know yeah because you don't like you, you do get to meet some people at, at the gigs but not in the, you know face to face really like that that yeah. sort of time so it was brilliant and then you, you share the vocals how hard is it deciding who takes the lead on some of the songs um, generally how because everybody sings so yeah. and especially the, the, yeah, as the band is continuing on all four of us really really are contributing in, in, in terms of bringing original songs to the, to the group so yeah, generally how it works is, is the person who brings who brings the idea or who brings the original song will probably you know they sing, the, sing. As, they'd, as they'd have the you know arguably the, the, the greater you know the greatest connection to the lyrics if they've written the lyrics but that does not it's not always the case and sometimes it just be there, there or may even it may even be certain sections of a song where we might yeah. feel somebody somebody might sing a certain bit, a bit of it better or that kind of thing or you know just might be more suited to somebody's voice so yeah we're still like we're we're, we're learning all the time to be that's it. it's, a learning it's, process. It's, it's always it's always a little bit difficult at those moments well, yeah. Little, Little Sparks really took on a life of its own. It was definitely one of the best Irish albums of 2012. When touring the album, of all the festivals you played, which was your favourite and why? It was the best album of 2012. Definitely. The best. Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are. We have, we have a, a Meteor Choice Music Prize to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> I take it back then. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that it was a lovely thing to get, but no, I, no, I would never say. I would never say we're the best, but certainly we're among. I hope we're among the best. Oh, definitely, definitely. <laughs> I'm, I'm distracting myself now. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I suppose we've uh, we've been lucky to play to play at a good few at this stage. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, we've had 
like lots of great oxygens and electric picnics last year we had an amazing show at electric picnic um there's always for for whatever reason the weather is always much better at electric picnic than <laughs> <laughs> so it's much a uh, you know you it's it's an easier gig in terms of how you know yeah you, you, you're you're trying to overcome the conditions as well as everything else in Oxford. Oh, it's not uh, worse when it, when it's raining at a festival. Yeah, so um, but that that's been great. We 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 played a gig in in Malahi Castle with the Arctic Monkeys when they were kind of exploding onto the scene. Um, I think that was great. Shortly after, yeah, shortly after we released our first album um, in a bit detail, so that was brilliant. And we we've, we've been just this year um, at South by Southwest, a, a fantastic festival in Austin in Texas. Um, oh great! Yeah, it's it's a really cool one where you have kind of it's a, a worldwide kind of festival. You have um, bands. It's like an industry kind of festival, so you have kind of bands showcasing, but acts from all over the world. Oh, so you could have, and so you meet some great people as well. Yes, yeah, so you could have like a you could see a brand new kind of band from Japan in in a little bar, and then around the corner they have kind of established acts play as well. So. Yeah, you know, we've seen OREM, Kings of Leon, and oh, Flaming right. Hips, and all kind of these. And people are just wandering around, so you can, you know, you can wander up and have a chat. I think that's the best bit. Well, that's, that was going to be my next question. Would you be the type of band now to hang out in the VIP tent, or would you like to get out and mix with the crowd? So are you snobs, or do you like to mix with people? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't get invited to that many VIP uh, sections. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, and I know, like I, you know, we're all fairly ordinary lads, you yeah. know. Uh, so I, I, you know, personally, I take everybody uh, as I find them. You yeah. know, obviously, something like an exception is maybe something like Br- Bruce uh, in, in Bruce, a few weeks' time. Yeah, exactly. Um, I imagine that I would would be a gibbering idiot if if I get the opportunity to even say hello to him. Yeah, but, but you're, you know, like, you know, we're, we're all we're all the same, really. So I, you know, I don't, you know, as I say. I, tend to take take everybody as I find them so you know if, there, if, there's, if there's a pass going from for you know in a VIP area that kind of thing we'll, we'll usually have a look but there's yeah. always better crack to be had you know oh, out, that's out, it. out in the site and out with everybody you know that's where the buzz is so that's where we tend to end up that's it, exactly and then this week you released the video for your new single Pesh or Dew. that's directed by Irish animator Kevin Lynch and you've mm. been sharing that online what kind of feedback have you been getting from the fans um, really nice. Um, I suppose it's it's quite a um, it, it's a, a, an emotional song. It's a a, a very it, it's a personal song, um, and I think that's really nice. The kind of the sentiments of kind of uh, sort of loved ones and family and things, and a bit of a sort of a, the video has a kind of a nostal a kind of a nostalgia yeah, sort of does. element it, to it. And it um, shows your creativity once again. It's totally different from what you normally see. Like it's a great video. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's well, it's done. Yeah, I guess normally you'd certainly see the band featured or that kind of thing. So, it's yeah, it's really nice to you know again, we're lucky to to have met on our on our travels so so many good people and talented people. So it's really nice when you get the opportunity to work with somebody like Kevin and okay. and uh, you know the results I, I guess speak for themselves. And then the song that's also going to feature on the soundtrack to the new movie about time. That's a time travel movie, and that's set for release on September sixth. How did that come about? Um, well, it, uh, we had a, a, a song, well, like a few songs kind of submitted for the movie. Yeah. Um, and uh, so, um, yeah, we, were, we, we just got, got word. Now, I, you know, I don't know what it, it's probably, you know, on the radio in the background. <laughs> so, you know, I think their breakfast. I don't think it's the, it's the kind of the theme tune to the, to the, to the movie, but... Um, it's a, oh, it's a, it's a, it, it's a, a, a really a really nice thing to you know to, to be involved in some, something like that is something you know we haven't we don't have much experience that kind of thing so um it's a, it, we we get a real kick out of it so we'll all be uh, yeah up the front row when it opens and obviously uh, one, one one of our one of our own um, fantastic actors Donald Gleeson in, uh, in in the lead role so uh, 
that's uh, very exciting. And as you said there now, you're working on your fourth album at the moment. When do you think we should expect to see a release on that? Um, I optimistically say, saying next year, hopefully early next year. Um, we're right in the middle of it at the moment. Well, when I say the middle, we're about the, probably the first third. Um, yeah. But uh, but it's going well, and the um, early noises are uh, positive, and uh, we're starting to kind of get excited now and feel a bit of moment- momentum. Oh, so we'll be um, looking forward to hearing that. If it's anything like Little Sparks, I'm sure it'd be a fantastic album. Now, next one. What is the daftest question you've ever been asked in an interview? And if I've asked it, keep it to yourself. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Oh, God. (laughs) You get asked all sorts of things. Well, you get asked things like weird rider things or what's the funniest thing you've ever had on a rider uh, at a gig. Um, You you always get, well, you often get asked, what what famous people have you met? (laughs) Yeah. Oh, it's a good one. <laughs> That'd be a typical one, I'd say. <laughs> and now, next question. What famous people have you met? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, most people are fairly, like, are fairly sane. You don't get asked... You don't get asked too and, many. I, I think too you crazy. You have to do the odd quiz, that kind of thing. Yeah. Like on, a, if on a TV show or, like, if it's a certain... If it has a certain theme, it might be, you know... And now that, you know, our... 30 second quiz on your favourite fruits or you know fruit related questions oh god yeah they'd be a bit mad (laughs) you played Castle Bar now a couple of times courtesy of Finbar Hoban here what did you think of the reception you got in the west we had a really nice um, really nice gig the last last couple of times we've been down Um, and Finbar is brilliant you know um, we've been around a few years at this stage and we've seen um, obviously a lot of changes in the in the Irish music scene yeah and then um, it's not easy to to be putting on gigs and to be taking that risk. So um, oh, no, the sure. likes of, uh, of of Finbar in in Mayo and Googie and over in the Roisin and in Galway and yeah. those kind of guys are so important um, to, to to be giving bands. You know, not not only you know young bands their start, but in just keeping keeping a scene going and keeping it vibrant. So. Um, well, that's it. We, he is great, and he's great for the, giving support to local bands. You know, to support the likes yeah. of yourselves, and exactly. he's therapy now at, at Halloween coming to Castle Bar, so that's going to be a great one. But um, then last year was the first year of the Westport Festival, and it was an absolutely fantastic weekend. Are you looking forward to playing it this year? Really, really looking forward to it. Any excuse to get to Westport? Um, I've been down pr- probably three times in the last. In the last 18 months myself and my girlfriend go there love to go on holidays so um, we've been up and down well, we haven't gotten done the length of the greenway yet oh, but, um, good luck with that <laughs> <laughs> but we've certainly made a couple of attempts at yeah. it so yeah I, like um, it, it's going to be brilliant you know it's, I, like it's, it's such a beautiful town and the people are so friendly and um, so um, we I don't we, did we I don't know if, if we have actually ever played in in Westport. Yeah. We've done Castle Bar a couple of times. So um, oh, I think you'll have a great. Time. It's it's such a brilliant festival. And I was saying I'd Wallace Bird on a couple of weeks ago, and I was saying like it's just such a happy happy festival. Do you know you don't see any trouble or anyone going around wrecked over their heads. It's just a really really good festival. I think you'll have a, a ball at it. I've heard that. Yeah. So yeah. No. Um, I think it, I think it's going to be brilliant. And then finally, you have a big headline gig coming up at Vicar Street in November. What date? Um, is that on? You put me on the spot now. <laughs> I, think it might be, I think it might be the first of November. But um, if people check Ticketmaster and or delorentos.net, our website, they'll be able to uh, they'll be able to find the All details. The information there. I think, I, will be there. I think it's the first of November. <laughs> but yeah, it should be. Um, it, yeah, it's, it's like a, it's our favourite venue in Dublin to play. So. Um, we're really looking forward to that. It should be. It should be a good one. We might even have at that stage a couple of a uh, couple of the new songs, uh, oh, maybe to, to preview one or two of them. So, uh, yeah, it should be a great night. Brilliant. Well, I hope I make it up to that now because I haven't been to Vicar Street before. So, well, listen, Ronan, thank you so much for your time, and I look forward to seeing you now at Westport Festival, and hopefully we'll catch a pint with you on the day. Yeah, look, look forward to look forward to seeing you there. It should, we're really looking forward to it. Thank you. Perfect. Day. Thanks, Ronan. Each 
Another heartbeat